the adventure. <laughs> this time he's not going to forget anything. No. He's promised. Headlights, double check. Here we go. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're on tonight. Westerly wind at a minute. Turning northwest later on, on nine o'clock. Anyway, prime frozen sand deal, Bates or us. Don't shop anywhere else with sand deal. Everything I need in the sand deal. Quality, nice size, ideal ray bait. Stead and tailed it well. Leaving the point proud. So what I'll do is bring it right down. Got this Akuma light bait for plastic. Bring the other 5 out upside extra. Pop some raw down through. Put it over the top there like that. Bring that bait. Sure, I'm going to bite them. But um, there you go. That is prime ray bait. Half the time to get them on this hook, but there is time they'll smash straight down. So as you can see, that's the first one done. When I'm raying, I like to do it and have four rigs on the go. So I've got one already baited. You'll be probably watching this video in a few months' time because I plan to be opening back. I've got a couple now that need these done. They're on YouTube. so I can actually get down on the mark still and fish it. You can put them on here now. What's going to happen is every Tom, Dick and Harry is going to be down here fishing for them. And when I want to go fishing, I won't be able to get on the mark. Okay, so it's a nice little pool down there. It's going to be an early session ray. Time's e ebbing away now. Probably about an hour and a half to low water, around 6 o'clock. Let's thank Mr Luke Johns for letting me finish work early. Lovely lad he is. Don't get many of them. That's me ready to go. Two baits in the water. Two ready to hang up on the uh, trace bar. Two pretty droppers. Ready to go, let's get on. See him again. Two pen Fathom 15s, which I've had magged. They're loaded onto two Ziplex Dymic HSTs, which is my choice of rod for raying. Loving it, mate. He's cracked on with work. Finished early as well to get down here the night. Yes. A little bit of weight, I don't know if that's weed or what, but I've got to be really careful what I'm doing here now because that rock what's in front of me as it's going down to low water, it's gonna be covered. My small light came up over that the other day. It was two hours back on the flood. As you can see, nothing on there. I just want to get it up over there. See that there? That's the whole point of getting them up. If you're fishing off rock marks, is that half the time it's advisable to um, get your fish to the surface far further out. So, 
show you the ideal thing for now that even if I've got fish on bang 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 and I'm fishing again that's how quick, quick and simple it is well I'll be doing that now Lee if I had a fish on would be unhooking it for me and getting him ready for the camera and scales but that's what I want to be doing it's quite slippery up here so we've really got to watch what I'm doing getting my foot in the place so I'm going to go out with the out swing in with the in swing look up fire him up He's going, he's going, he's going, he's gone. And that's all it is. I reckon we'll see some fish tonight. ready there. That one can go over like so. It's just ready for us to get a fish on. Game on. So we'll get Lee casting out now. Second bait Look out. Up. Boom. That's the one mate. He's out there. He's been here roughly, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. All baits out. Beads, just getting a bite. A couple of little taps. So I'm going out, in. He's out there. So we have Lee Treby just setting up a pulley drop down rig with a sand deal on. Hopefully. This will be the one to pull him out as first spotted. Would be very nice. This is his second trip now, and um, we've seen one small light out so far. So here we have Lee Treby, a five pound spotted. Dead on the mark, mate. Over the moon for the lad. Dead on five pound, a quarter of an ounce. I'm over the moon. Yeah. I, I've, I took him out to get him his first small eyed or spotted and he's um, a second attempt, first time I had a small, a small eyed, eight pound and then he's just done this one for a five pound. First fish of the new Rob Benders Club, so a specimen um, spotted, so we're getting returned now. Well done Lee, over the moon for you mate. Lovely, let's take him. Let's go down then. Alright, so we're on a mark now in the south arms, it's a bit tricky where we are. So he's leading the walk down, I'll go on to the next one, you'll be right there, there's no swell. I'm looking out for the swell for him at the same time. Get as low down to the water as you can, mate. Chop to pieces, here, it's my first spotted. Five pounds, all over the moon. I'd like to put him back in the water now to fight another day. Rob Benders, SAC, wait for the swell, mate. Here we go, go for it, go for it, go for it. Swell got me. There you go, he's gone. He's gone. Hey, he's over there, lad. Swimming? He's gone. He's gone. I do. Well done, mate. Well, I like to just say I'm over the moon for him. He's done two trips. I've took lads and he's done ten trips. And he's haven't had no ray. And to be honest, it's off-putting him a little bit. But well, that one fish, as Lee just said to me then, is would made it all worthwhile. The fact took him ten trips to get that one five-pound spotted out. Specimen spotted, first ever spotted. Fish, 